Well, this is not the way to start a day, folks. Hot water tank just went. So much for any spending money on vacation. Lord have mercy. What else? So why in the world are you looking at my water heater? Well, because it's brand new as of this morning because the old one exploded. Fun. It's just been one thing after another. The tires and the windshield and new glasses and then the cat at the vet. And then uh, <laughs> $800 later, another $800 later, this brand new beautiful water heater. But the reason that you guys are seeing this, not only is the guy's name Jon Snow and you know that's cool for me, but they were at the house in five minutes i mean literally like at the house because the water valve the old one there was a water valve right there um to shut off and it had rusted open so i was unable to do anything with that um they had me hooked up in under two hours brand new water heater uh even recommended that i go buy it myself because it was less expensive who does that that's awesome they're saving you money um if you're in the jonesboro region 8 area in arkansas Please, give these guys a shout if you need them. They do it all. They're fantastic. It's it's not winter is coming. <laughs> Water is coming. And it did. So we flooded. The she shed flooded. But we are intact. Minimal damage. Probably some baseboard damage in there. And I wasn't able to ship anything out this morning. And one thing I'll tell you guys about shipping stuff out is that a lot of the times you guys don't see all the lures that I do um, simply because I have a lot to ship out and you guys just don't get to see all of them before they go but this morning I was not planning on doing yeah I wasn't planning on vlogging or video taping this morning but here we are so it is now almost two o'clock I've got to get started spraying soon because I somehow have to come up with the money to go on vacation and drive back home and see everybody so it is what it is life is good um, and there are blessings regardless so thank you to the Tubbs family and to Jon Snow your grace <laughs> for coming out and hooking me up this morning thank you thank you thank you that was fantastic but since I wasn't able to ship anything because we were in um, chaotic mayhem in the she shed I can do one of these for you guys today so this is gonna be a shop update that was unplanned we'll just call this the uh, the Jon Snow snow plumbing update this is the buffalo crawl and it's very similar to the crawls that i've been showing you guys but the difference is i put a buffalo on it this is specifically going for the buffalo man for dirk in kansas so just showing off that little buffalo insignia on the top middle there and i've got two of those it's got those uh, freshwater pearl eyes these are gorgeous. Are they not gorgeous? I mean, it's, it's a fantastic set of eyes. And <clears throat> again, I've said it in earlier videos. I can't get these all the time. I can barely find them like once or twice a year. But I found them on Amazon. Just um, type in freshwater pearl eyes. There's no link per se. Sometimes they have them. Sometimes they don't. But just, gosh, they're gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful. Great contrast to the bait. They offset very well. I've got a number of, <clears throat> excuse me, it's been a day. I've got a number of these. This is going to Greg Dudley. I just did a video on the uh, kamikaze bug is what these things are called. And again, Greg Dudley, my apologies. These should have gone to you this morning, but I was unable to get anything out. I uh, had to run to Mid-South Plumbing. Thanks to the Coots family for, uh, for always being there for the community. There is one of two pieces for greg dudley and look at how this just i mean this just pops off that bait talk about depth it's absolutely amazing once that clear coats on there and they're shiny you can tell i haven't been spraying anything this morning because my hands are relatively clean just fantastic i love love this pattern especially for the fall 
was really happy to get it up in a video for you guys. And this is the other one. Second verse looks like the first. Just a hint of that uh, Maui blue in with the green and then just a light overspray to angle in white, moss green, and um, black magenta. If I fumble with my words today, it's just because it's been a crazy, crazy day. These are Jackal Rearrange. It's a six pack going to Troy, maybe in upstate New York. This is that gold green, somewhat of a walleye pattern. I put uh, fluorescent pink eyes on these. There's another one that looks just like it. Hand did all the eyes on this. Just a little purple, some fluorescent orange on the belly of it. Also in a small mouth pattern. And again, these are these Jackal Rearrange 110s. And you've got that color shifting. Um, I upgraded his paint on this just so that we could get some good iridescent paint. And there is the small mouth. Two of those. And then we did Pearl. So we're going to talk just a little bit. Like the camera is just making this thing pop. Crazy pop. Um, one obviously has got glitter all over it which is really pretty. But I almost didn't want to put glitter on it, cause, and I'll show you on the one that doesn't. You know, that some there's something about simple is, is the best. And that is certainly true for patterns like this. This is a an off-white bone, and this is the one I left alone. But just look at how pretty. It's real simple. This is a very simple pattern to do. But that creamy vanilla off-white into a bone, into that blended sepia nose, and a very dark raw umber sepia on the eye. And just, I mean, now you know why I didn't want to put glitter all over these, because they're just daggum gorgeous. They're so pretty. Uh, as, as much as I like vivid colors, and I was telling Troy this last night because I showed him a picture, I'm like, do I have to put glitter on this? <laughs> but he's using all this stuff for walleye up north, so I can certainly understand it. I'm, who am I? It's not my order. You're, I do whatever you guys want me to do with these. But on something like this, I mean, ah, it was all I could do to get the glitter out and actually put it on. But I did talk him into letting me keep one of these just pure because this is... It's probably one of the most simple patterns that I've sprayed, but this is probably one of my most favorite patterns to spray just because there's not much to it. It's a very simplistic match the hatch type situation and it'll work anywhere. Stained water, that white is gonna pop and the black uh, brownish sepia on the nose is gonna trigger. Man, super happy with how these came, all of them really, but that, this in particular and yeah I, I'm okay with I'm okay I guess and he asked for a lot of glitter too that's exactly what you got is a lot a lot a lot of glitter which is cool I kept it gold I kept it uh, like the gold coppery type glitter to stay in in match with what the colors are on this start to say flavors it's because I said vanilla makes me want ice cream but it's only like 60 degrees outside to look it's so nice it's so nice i've got everything open today that never that never happens oh, i also have to air out the <sighs> have to air that out the utility room if i sound stressed my humblest apologies it's just been uh, well it's a piece of glitter that was unintended it'll come off it's not glued down there's that other small mouth. These jackal rearranged money, 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 money baits. Here's that, you know, <laughs> I think I spent the entire, the entire um, spray session calling this a grunt. It's a runt. There's no G on the front of it. It's a mystery tackle box exclusive and there's no G. It's not a grunt. That's what I was in the army. Um, it's a runt. And some people call it a pickle because it kind of looks like a pickle. Uh, these these little guys swim surprisingly well, and you can go to Carl's Tackle, Carl's Bait and Tackle online, and find these all day long. But again, you can see the depth. This is one that was sprayed.
in the video. I know, my sentences, it's like, it's crazy. But bear with me. It's just one of those days, guys and gals. And you know, the more I look at this, now I, I'm going to give Dudley, where's Dudley's? These are Greg Dudley's. Um, but I'm going to give this another chance because at first I'm like, yeah, I don't, uh, I don't know if I like it as much. But I, I do. I really do. I love this red veining. And now that it's clear coated, and everything is like really out and I'm digging it. I love this pattern. This is beautiful. This, this will catch fish. These little dinger bandits. Well, BD200s. Sorry. Sorry, Brian. Don't want to get you in trouble. They are replicas, folks. They are not bandits. My apologies. Make sure I give you the correct annotation for the blanks. But they are pressed extremely well. Extremely well. And hand-painted eyes. That's how the eyes turned out on this. And that is all the news that's fit to print. Uh, I'm going to roll some footage from this morning real quick um, and show you, <laughs> show you guys everything. Oh, shoot. Here's the, just real quick. I know you don't need to see like the seventh or eighth bait of this particular color, but this is, uh, this is the other one. That's how that turned out. I know. I don't even have gloves on this morning. I've washed my hands like a million times, though, so we're good. Turned out well. But here's a, here's a quick look at what I was dealing with this morning. And uh, thanks again to Snow Plumbing. I'm going to give them as many plugs as, uh, as I can because they're fantastic. If my washer goes up, I quit. I just friggin' quit today. Seriously, what else?